<laughs> hi just wanted to pop on real quick and remind you how lovely you are i've just been writing some i think it'll be a blog post or a podcast or something hello hey lovelies yeah but i just felt compelled just to come on real quick it's a quick one because i've got a busy day but i wanted to come on and remind you that you are so so lovely you are so lovely and if you don't know it you're probably looking at your wounds or living out of your wounds and that's okay but come back home <laughs> come back home to the truth of how lovely you are and what is the part of you that is lovely in your very design it's your consciousness your consciousness is the most lovely aspect of you it's expansive it's always in flux <laughs> and it's just the youest you so yeah well how do we how do we explore our consciousness I think curiosity is the first thing curiosity and an openness a willingness to explore and to discover but with all my refinery students with all of my students i'm always encouraging to go searching to question to allow lots of uh, opportunities to respond to things to to have that what is it like spontaneous reaction to something so if you show lots of things to yourself and just check how does this make me feel how do how would i respond to this and yeah, pay attention to those reactions. You'll start to get a feel for your consciousness and your uniqueness and your loveliness. So yeah, I'll just read from my notes. You are lovely. And if you don't know this, it's probably just your wounds. You're living out of your wounds or looking at your wounds and your wounds are not the truth of who you are. I'm going to talk a bit more about wounds in the second bit because there's something really special about them. But if you can learn to see your value by your design, by your consciousness, learn to differentiate wounds from design. This is so powerful because you'll start to see other humans in a whole new light. Instead of judging them by you know, their behavior, by their wounds, you'll start to look for nuances and subtleties that give you an idea of their true design and then that's your power to see that and to be able to call that out in them to say I see your wounds but I cannot agree that they are the sum of who you are I cannot agree that they're good to live and breathe and and believe in live out of because <laughs> it's just not the truth in the entirety of who you are so yeah, rather it's kind of like a corrupted file, something that needs to be updated and healed. Yeah, because we can't hate someone without hating an aspect of ourselves. It's a big one because if you get stuck hating someone, and I, I totally get it, there are all kinds of reasons to hate somebody when you've been hurt, when you've been hurt with just unimaginable actions and words, that is a really difficult thing. But then it's not the sum of who you are. And because we're one, it takes some discipline, I think, to practice that differentiation to differentiate wounds from the wonder of your design because you are lovely at your core. Yeah, and this is, you know, we're rising together. One can't just rise alone <laughs> because there's too much, I don't know, it just doesn't work. <laughs> you have to be kind of in your ego just to rise alone. <laughs> so it's not, it's not, sustainable and it's not kind of real but what i wanted to say just about wounds is that there's something very beautiful about your wounds and that is that it shows authenticity it shows realness 
and <laughs> this might help because the reason why I was thinking this through was just uh, I was in a cafe the other day and I noticed that they had all these artificial plants and I really can't I can't stand artificial plants <laughs> and sometimes some of them are tricky because they look real but then when you look closer you see that they're artificial so how do you know straight away if a plant is real or artificial <laughs> you see the wounds you see the little dead bits on the end of leaves or something that's been you know a piece of leaf that's been torn for instance so see how beautiful that is? Your wounds actually show that you're real, that you're authentic, that you're alive. This is not a facade. This is not a fake projection. We can't become ourselves by ourselves. Yeah, totally. Thanks for that, Rachel. Yeah, but just like the other, the other thing around this idea of authenticity and mistakes showing authenticity, oh, Mistakes showing up authenticity. Wounds showing up authenticity. Uh, if you hear music and you hear a mistake, that's another sign of authenticity. That's an authentic, real-time delivery of music. Somebody sitting in your vicinity singing or playing a song for there to be a mistake. And how special is that <laughs> with all this all this music that is so available to us, all recorded, all produced perfectly, ready to be played, how precious is it to hear live music now? So that's another indication of something that's real, something that's delivered in the moment and how precious that is because you're actually receiving the vibrations of that. It's not just coming from a speaker. Yeah. And the gift of the real is that there's a real vibration. Like a plastic plant doesn't have much to give in terms of vibration. <laughs> like we wouldn't fill our bedroom with plastic plants. We don't have the goodness of the oxygen that they're putting out. Like I've got a lot of plants in my room and I just love them. I'm starting to develop a relation with them. And I feel like yeah, we have this symbiosis, you know, I think they appreciate my energy and, and I come around and I touch them and connect with them and talk to them <laughs> and, and I think they love it and they're growing, they're putting out new leaves and that makes me happy because I can see that they're thriving, they're doing well and plus I know that they're giving me oxygen to breathe as I'm in my room and as I'm sleeping, you know? Ah, oh, thanks Tash. So it's this, it's finding the connections and the relationship, the symbiosis in our lives. That's what's beautiful about real plants that fake plants just don't have. But then along with those real plants, there will be, you know, a flower will come up and then die and I'll have to cut that off. And I've got to cut off the leaf that my cat attacked, you know, <laughs> and that's okay. But that's just another sign of authenticity and we're in flux and we're developing and expanding and being wounded and healing and it's all okay. It's all part of our magnificent unfurling. So yeah, I just wanted to come on and say that, that there's a great beauty in, in your mistakes and, and your wounds, but that's not the sum of who you are. <laughs> and when you learn to see your loveliness Oh, that thing will just go off and it will just motivate and inspire and energize you to push through to heal faster, you know, and then to enable other people to heal too. What an expansive thought. Thank you. I got to keep going. Thanks for joining me. Lots of love. I hope that helps. Thank you for buying badges. That's so sweet. Mwah. Bless.